Hi, my name is Angel, and I'm part of Google's policy education efforts. My role is to help you better understand our advertising policies and also share the challenges you face with our internal teams. In this video, I'll explain and provide examples of the inappropriate content policy, which is part of our prohibited content ads policies. If you want to learn more about the prohibited content ads policies, check the video linked in the description box below. Please also make sure to review the full inappropriate content policy in the Help Center article linked below. Online advertising can be a powerful way to reach customers, but we also value diversity and respect for others, and we strive to avoid offending users and publishers. Under the inappropriate content policy, we don't allow ads or destinations that display shocking content or promote hatred, intolerance, discrimination, or violence. There are a number of categories that are prohibited under the inappropriate content policy. Let's take a look at a few of the most common policy violations. First is dangerous or derogatory content. This is content that promotes hate groups or that encourages others to believe that a person or group of people is inhuman, inferior, or worthy of being hated. This also includes content that harasses, intimidates, exploits, or bullies an individual or group of people. Like singling someone out to abuse or harass or encouraging others to harass or bully another individual. Next is sexually explicit content. This means any text, imagery, audio, or video of graphic sexual acts intended to arouse, like hardcore pornography. Content that promotes underage, non-consensual, or other illegal sexual themes, whether simulated or real, are also in violation of this policy. Another is shocking content. This refers to any ad content containing violent language, gruesome or disgusting imagery, or graphic images or accounts of physical trauma. Examples of this can include, but are not limited to, crime scene photos or execution videos, or using obscene or profane language. Misspellings of profane language are also monitored under this policy. Additionally, content used explicitly to shock or scare a user, like suggesting a user has come in close contact or been infected with a disease, or may be a victim of a conspiracy, is also not permitted. Last are sensitive events. This means any ad that can potentially profit from or exploit a sensitive event with significant social, cultural, or political impact. Examples of this include, but are not limited to, using natural disasters, public health emergencies, terrorism, conflict, or mass acts of violence to potentially gain a profit. Similarly, Ads that claim victims of a sensitive event were responsible for their own tragedy or similar instances of victim blaming are not allowed. For example, ads that claim victims from certain countries were responsible or deserving of a global public health crisis. Remember, these are just some examples of the inappropriate content policy. So be sure to review the entire policy article linked below to be fully compliant. Google Ads enables businesses of all sizes from all around the world to promote a wide variety of products, services, apps, and sites on Google and across our network. We want to help you reach existing and potential customers and audiences. When serving ads on Google, you are required to adhere to its policies. Many of these content areas are highly regulated to protect consumers, and Google plays a role to ensure users connect with trustworthy parties. As an advertiser, you can check for a policy violation in the Policy Manager of your Google Ads account. For more information on how to navigate the Policy Manager or appeal a decision, check out the video linked below. As a user, if you encounter a potential policy violation and would like to bring it to our attention, please report it using the form linked in the description box. I hope this video helps you better understand our inappropriate content policy. Keep watching this playlist to learn more about our other advertising policies. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.